Welcome back to my channel, Technologically Curious. And if you are a new Tesla owner, you have to consider these accessories. So without wasting any time, let's get right to it. When purchasing a new Tesla, one of the first steps should be installing mud flaps. Doing so will protect the paint behind the fenders from chips. I recommend the mud flaps from EV Base, which require no drilling just like many do. These mud flaps are particularly durable and impact resistant due to its rubber-like material, making them preferable to other common plastic options that are available out there. The next accessory is a wireless MagSafe phone charger from MacPack, a company known for their phone cases. The charging pad sits beside the screen, allowing you to snap your phone onto it easily thanks to the MagSafe which perfectly aligns. It is installed with 3M adhesive tape on one end and on the other end you're going to get a 30 watt car USB-C adapter. One of the best features of this wireless charger is how easy it is to hide the cables along the center console. To install it, take the included power adapter and connect it to the lighter socket under the armrest. Additionally, you will receive extra 3M tape to secure any extra cable from dangling behind the screen, keeping your setup neat. This leaves you with just very little bit of exposed cable next to the driver's seat. You can also use your phone in landscape orientation if you prefer. If you need a charger for a passenger side, MacPack also sells one on the right side of the screen, which is great. The Tesla Model 3 and Y comes with a large hole in the center console area, making it difficult to store your belongings in an organized manner. This six-piece storage organizer set from DEDC offers a great value pack solution. For the center console storage, you get a tray for neatly holding valuables while still allowing for additional storage space underneath. You can also add a tray under the armrest, which includes a slot for a power adapter, such as the one I just used for the wireless charger. The armrest itself offers additional storage space where you can install a tiny box that acts as a hidden compartment that you can barely notice. The kit also includes a cup holder insert, which addresses the flawed Tesla design. Additionally, you get two large trays that slide under your front seats and provide useful storage space. I can see myself use it particularly for shoes on long road trips. So now this next accessory is a dashboard mini screen display from a brand called Telluride. And I do not know anything about installing anything electronic, so I'm totally new to this. And many of you might be considering to install this, but you think that you don't really have the expertise to do it. Let's see how easy it is. And you will know firsthand whether this is worth installing by yourself or not. So let's get right to it. First, let's turn off the screen from the safety menu. The package includes the display unit, one cable for connection and an instruction manual. It's that simple. To begin, remove the side panels and dashboard with the help of a pry tool. Then, remove the top cover just behind the steering wheel and the clips attached to the dashboard with the pry tool of course. I appreciate that the plastic around the screen matches the OEM cover which is a positive aspect to the design. Next, detach the leather-like portion from the cover by pinching the clips and pulling it apart and attach it to the new screen display unit. Remove the side panel and cover below it to reach out for the wire connection that is in blue. Connect the black cable to the screen unit for power. Do a bit of cable management and tuck the cables underneath the flap. The screen will then immediately turn on which is a good sign of course. Connect the white wires to the driver side then do the same for the other end on the front passenger side. Finally, snap everything back together. 
The graphics when you first get into the car are impressive and the screen resolution is pretty sharp. To enter the settings mode, long press the right button towards the right for more than 3 seconds. Then in the settings mode you get to change everything from the unit of the temperature, miles and the UI design. I kept this UI design because I just love the way the speed shows right in the center. Everything that you need is on the screen including the time, battery, distance from when the autopilot is active, warning signs, range, gear select and I still keep discovering more options. So yeah this took barely 30 minutes and that was not too bad at all. I, I was really skeptic on how I'm going to handle all the wires and it was so easy. Just three plugs and that's it. I really like that the screen doesn't come in the way of the air vent which is great especially in the summers. Um, yeah, I love this. This is one of my favorite accessories and I really really recommend it. And if I'm not mistaken, it's one of the most reasonably priced mini display dashboards that you will find in the market. The EV based USB docking station is the next item on our list. It makes charging and data transfer easily accessible with two USB-C and two USB-A ports. It also features an LED light strip for ambient lighting at night. All you need to do is simply plug it into the USB ports in the center console and you're ready to use it. The Tesla Model Y strangely doesn't come with a sunglass holder, but fear not, this accessory from EV Base is perfect and easy to install. All you need is to clip it on one side between the headliner and the glass, and then on the other end, use a pry tool to create space between the dome light cover and the headliner to attach it. To open the box, simply press it once. The light grey suede also matches well with the headliner which appears to look OEM which I really appreciate. This accessory from EV Base benefits the front passenger who may want to use a more convenient way to dock their phone or to consume media during road trips with its 360 degree rotating feature. It comes with a solar panel to charge the retractable feature. Installation is straightforward as the holder can automatically detect the phone and securely grab hold of it. For those long road trips, you can use a charging cable and plug it directly into the USB dock we just installed. I love that the space gray finish matches the car's interior perfectly. The interior of the Tesla Model Y is minimalistic, but it lacks a luxury touch. I find that there are too many hard plastics for my liking. Today, for most of the hard plastics, we will add Alcantara Accents, which is a suede-like texture found in most luxurious cars. I have here a Alcantara kit from Tilride, which covers the center console, armrest, gear stocks, steering wheel, dashboard, side center console panels and the rear vent section. In my opinion, these accents make a really big difference and upgrades the car's luxury inside. It's difficult not to talk about car fragrances in an accessory video. If you are looking for a well-made air freshener option for your Tesla Model Y or 3, I think you should consider Daily Lab. Their first option is an aromatic stick diffuser that elegantly sits between the air vent and comes with refills like grapefruit as well as other fragrances that you might like. If you prefer hanging scent cards, Daily Lab has a wide variety of fragrances available for that as well. Their third option, the Star Glow Diffuser, comes with two refills that can easily be installed and aesthetically blends well on the dashboard. It's worth mentioning they come in white and gold finishes too. Next up, we have a matte finish screen protector from DEDC. It is important to protect your screen from not just scratches but also glare and fingerprints. The packaging comes with two screen protectors and enough screen cleaning material which is amazing. To begin, turn off the screen, use the wet wipe, then the dry wipe and finally the lint remover to make sure you do not have any specks of dust that could cause air bubbles behind the screen protector. 
the result is a glare-free, fingerprintless, protected screen. Okay, so summer is coming up just a month or so away and you have to consider gear or accessories for the summer. And this next accessory is a sunroof cover. EV Base's roof shade helps to repel heat on hot summer days. The white option comes in a nice bag and blends with the grey headliner. Using the included clips, you can easily slide it in between the headliner and the glass and it holds firmly in place. The installation and removal of the roof shade is easy given that you want to keep it permanently fixed to the roof. If you are planning a beach or camping trip this summer, it's important to protect your car seats. The KMF covers do a great job at this, especially if you want to preserve white seats like mine. They are also great for long road trips. Additionally, if you're in the mood for outdoor activities, the brand DEDC that we just spoke about sells an armrest cover to protect your car even further. So yeah, you can just go ahead and just spill anything you want. Not literally. Next up are seat back covers from DEDC made with a really neat looking carbon fiber like leather finish. These covers protect the back of your seat from footprints and provide additional storage pockets, making them a very useful feature for families going on long road trips. The covers also come with a side netting for the center console, which can be attached with Velcro. So these were my must-have accessories if you are a new Tesla owner or if you're planning to take delivery of one. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button. I make a lot of videos on Tesla and tech in general and anything that really makes me curious. Until the next time, take care. Peace.